Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and welcome to LEGO Mini Reviews, the show where I review a ton of different LEGO vintage and new sets right here on the Duck Bricks YouTube channel in a short form format. So I have a ton of Bricklink orders to get through as well as just associated LEGO purchases and I figured instead of making a mega video where I go through every single one that's hours long, why not break it up into separate mini reviews? And so in addition to our normal three videos a week schedule, be sure to stay tuned for a mini review dropping every single day where we do not normally have a standard video releasing. I hope you enjoy and let's jump right into our first pick. Next up, we have the Darth Maul Scimitar Spaceship. This is from Star Wars The Sith Infiltrator. I do own the versions from 2011 and afterwards, as well as the first one, but I never managed to own this kind of in-between version from 2007 until now. So this particular version is pretty interesting because it does actually have quite a lot of hidden features to it. It's not just a standard ship. One thing I do really like is that the landing gear on the bottom actually does splay outwards. You can actually cause them to be pushed inwards and then upwards just like that, but they actually are mounted on turnstiles so you can move them around. Of course, when the vehicle is in flight, you can deploy the kind of wings right here or the S foils, so you can really have a very menacing look and feel to it. Maybe it's not absolutely accurate to the actual movie. I don't think the wings were quite this rounded, but it does have a very unique silhouette as it flies towards you. Just a really fun spaceship to have in general. Now, what's also interesting is that this was before LEGO had any flick fire missiles. So these missiles, are literally just mounted on Technic axles. They do not have any friction. If you tilt the ship forward, they will just fall outwards. But they were basically all LEGO could do before they introduced the Flick Fire Missile piece. So if this had come out just a couple years later, they would absolutely have used that Flick Fire Missile piece for the set. Now this in particular does have quite a few different functions. So first of all, the main thing is that you can actually split this first part open it literally just slides open like so so you have this close up and then slide open just like that to reveal the front of the spacecraft here you can launch some of darth maul's probe droids and you can see his lightsaber still in the chrome color right at the front there after you close this back up literally just slides in on a technic axle here let me just get this closed up then you'll notice that the back can also be fully opened up you just lift this section up here and Darth Maul can ride out in his speeder. So the speeder, like many of the other Sith Infiltrator vehicles, flies directly into a spacecraft, which is very fun. Almost feels like a classic space type of thing where you have the little rover inside or little small speeder vehicle that is enveloped by the larger one. So a great play feature. And this also has a really cool decal printed on the back of this windscreen to showcase the engines on the back here. Absolutely wasn't really necessary for this build, but I do appreciate how they gave us a special brand new piece for both this and this for the spacecraft itself. Otherwise, nothing too crazy to say here. Just good to own another version of a classic Star Wars spacecraft, and I am well on my way to owning all of the different Star Wars sets with this one in hand. Directly above me, you can see the different official LEGO set Sith Infiltrators, which you can see right there with this latest one now hanging alongside some of the more modern ones like the one from 2012 and even the one from 2015. Now, the Sith Infiltrator is a vehicle that LEGO has visited around four times in minifigure scale, starting off all the way back to the very first year of Star Wars in 1999, or the first year of LEGO Star Wars, that is, and then going all the way up to fairly recent years. It's a pretty iconic and interesting vehicle, despite not really appearing on screen too much, which is why I think that it is really interesting to see this kind of in-between model laying the grounds and template for what the Sith Infiltrators would later become, but still not really having really good building techniques. It's very fragile near the front, a very awkward mechanism to actually slide the front of it on, but it definitely was the template for many of the more modern Sith Infiltrator sets. With that, we've summed up the mini review. Thank you so much for tuning in and like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Bye-bye for now.